Well, good evening. So, uh, this evening we're going to, I'm going to keep it simple if I can. So, uh, I've wanted one of these for a while. So this is an auto world, uh, vintage muscle, uh, the, uh, 1964 Ford galaxy 500 XL. They also have in the, uh, is it muscle wagons or estate wagons? They have the Country Squire from the same year. Uh, those are tough to find at a good price. I uh, got very lucky finding this one. Um, I got it. I got it for uh, less than ten dollars, believe it or not. Um, so that's a minor miracle in it in itself. Um, you know me. I love full size Fords. I love Fords from the '60s and '70s and '80s and '90s up to today. So, uh, this is a nice one. So let's take a look. I believe this is a 2019 release. Yeah. Collect all six in 2019 release two. Uh, they have the muscle trucks, uh, the 62 Chevy Impala SS convertible. I have the 62, uh, Impala 409 hardtop. Not that one. They have the 74 Buick Wagon and the 2011 Corvette Z06. I don't remember seeing that one. Uh, I do not have a ton of Auto World, but I do have a few, mostly trucks, and I do love them. So there's some information on the back. Uh, this particular one is, uh, what is it? Version B, Premium Series Release 2. And this is when they still had the collector boxes, which I love. So let me get this off the card here. Let's see. There we go. Love Auto World. Uh oh, I should have read the uh, paint code there before I ripped it. It is Silver Smoke Gray Poly. So let's get the collector box over there, and let's get the model over here. Wow. And Auto World, just the feeling of quality, the weight of it. Um, there's the bottom of it. So metal body, metal base, rubber tires, authenticity, uh, no... Lensed inserts, but still nicely detailed front headlights. There goes a California plate. All of the trim, the paint is beautiful. Let's see if we can see inside the interior. My lighting's not perfect, but that is nice. See the back there. And the hood on this one should open. So these, this is the uh, Galaxy 500 XL, which is the top trim on this. And this more than likely would have had minimally the 390 cubic inch V8 um, or the 427. And I can't tell you which one that is from that, but it's a beautiful, it's got a, a gold chromish finish on the air cleaner and valve covers. You can see the blue washer bag there for the windshield washer fluid on the uh, passenger side. The details on this are beautiful. Uh, the wheel covers with the tricolor red, white, and blue Ford emblem there. Or I should say not Ford emblem, but Ford crest. So there is the confirmation there that little bird uh, that is indicating that this has the 427 cubic inch the, the very fine script galaxy 500 there uh, love this color um, to me it's like a silver blue but it says great um, it says it's a gray poly and that's fine my eyes have been that good with colors this is beautiful so 64 galaxies uh, I have Two more 64 Galaxies. These are these are Hot Wheels uh, castings. Uh, the 
a custom 64 uh, custom 64 galaxy um, and these are mainline versions there is a premium of this that I would love to get my hands on uh, and these are although it doesn't say on the, these are all supposed to be 427 cars um, I can tell because of the hood this is a reverse teardrop hood scoop that was popular on fast forwards of the time including the Fairlane Thunderbolt which also came with a 427 cubic inch V8 and this has ram air intakes just inside the headlights um, now that was not a factory thing that is a custom and these were big cars love them love them and I have another uh, Hot Wheels 64 here uh, I'm grateful that these two Hot Wheels galaxies don't have too wild graphics and tampos. This is nice. I mean, you know, no real details on this, but a chrome base is better than some odd plastic base on these things. I mean, it is plastic, plastic base, plastic tires, but it's a mainline Hot Wheels. And let's just check. The Hot Wheels is going to be small. But surprisingly, not as small as I thought. Uh, but Auto World is true 164. Um, I have two, two more galaxies, another 64 galaxy uh, to compare this one to. So this is a Maisto Pro Rod series from a few years ago. I've had this for a while. 1964 Ford Galaxy 500. Um, and I don't believe this one has an opening hood. No, it doesn't have an opening hood. This has got custom, you know, aftermarket rims. Uh, pretty decent. Very good, actually. Tampo details. Nice paint job. This is a metal body plastic base uh, with screws and either very soft plastic or rubber tires. Um, so let's compare this just for scale with the auto world and the the maestro is a little short but that's okay everything that I pull out to compare to the auto world just shows how good the auto world is and not to beat up this is not something I want to beat Hot Wheels up on these galaxies are pretty good especially considering they're mainline cars. Uh, these Auto World cars, um, like I said, are, you know, normally $7. And now that uh, now on the uh, secondary market, they're going for a premium price. I happen to get this uh, at a good deal. Um, so 64 Galaxies, 64 Galaxies. Oh, I have a 63 Galaxy from Johnny Lightning. I showed this one recently. Uh, what was this? For? Was this one of the ones for the White Wall Challenge? So the body style is not exact, but 63, 64, the roof line is the same. Uh, styling is changed, but it's an evolution, not a revolution. Uh, come right down to it, I think the 60 four is better looking than the 63 but they're both beautiful cars let's see how johnny lightning did for scale just a little short just a little narrow um now i don't have any more 63 or 64 galaxies but i do have a few more galaxies that i can show you of course I have my 65 Galaxies. This one from Racing Champions. Um, I, I'm pretty... I know, I, I think I did a video on all my Galaxies. Uh, but as I said, I, I love my full-size full, full size Fords. So, 65 Galaxy. Mainline Hot Wheels. 65 Galaxy. 50th Anniversary. 
uh, real riders, metal base, metal body in the golf livery. And um, somebody commented recently, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember their name, uh, that they were surprised that we knew Coney Shocks uh, because apparently the factory that makes Coney Shocks was near their home in the Netherlands. And I did not know that Coney Shocks were from the Netherlands. I only ever knew them as Coney Shocks. I mean, uh, it's a brand of shock absorbers, but that's interesting to know. Uh, and it's always interesting to get feedback and comments from viewers. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, I've shown my green light 65 galaxies. This one from the uh, Country Roads, Ohio police car. Uh, this one I bought loose, so I don't know what series it is. Uh, it's an older green post, low number, 120, 65 galaxy. Um, and of course, I've shown the uh, 67 customs, uh, which this is just a lower trim level of the same car. A Galaxy of this year would be the same body, just... Uh, and same thing with the 63 and 64, all full-size Fords. So this is the green light. This one is from the Bullet Movie Tin. Um, this one is from the Supernatural TV show Movie Tin set. And looks like it's got a Florida plate and some... Um, rust spots so it's made to look old and of course yet one more 67 Ford Custom from Greenlight this from the Hitch and Toe this came with the Shasta trailer uh, and of course my love for full size Fords continues into the modern era uh, this uh, 1992 Ford Crown Victoria uh, from the Black Bandits, and this is a police version. And then, of course, the hobby exclusive civilian version of the 1992 Crown Victoria LX. This one came with the little man in a suit. Opening hoods. So I, I just couldn't resist the temptation. What could I compare to the auto world but other full-size Fords. I mean, I guess I could pull out a, an Auto World full-size Chevy. But would that be fair to poor Chevy? So this is the Auto World uh, 62 Impala uh, 409. Just curiosity. They should be very close in size. Yeah, they're both full size cars. Yeah. These big American land yachts. So that was a nice uh, pickup. Um, nice, nice add to my collection. Uh, so, um, what do you think? Uh, do you have Auto World? Do you want Auto World? Uh, do you like this galaxy? I, I mean, I just love the paint jobs they do. I love the details. Yes, they don't have lens details. They don't have additional pieces glued on, like, uh, I mean, because it's all basically casted in, no separate bumpers and everything. But they do such a great job. And the weight of these Auto Worlds, uh, they feel substantial, they feel solid. Um, they don't feel fragile in any way. So, gonna gonna end this here. Um, tomorrow is Friday. I will not do a video on Friday. Uh, all if all goes well, I will be doing the uh, prize giveaway drawing on Saturday afternoon, and I'll have that video up. And of course, I will be using the um, comment picker random generator that I used in the last uh, contest. Uh, we have quite a few uh, comments and I would guess at least half of them ha have entries into. So I would say my best guess, it, there's 28 or so entries 
So good luck to all of you. Um, I found a box big enough to ship everything out in. And so uh, we'll do the drawing and then I'll be in contact with the winner and we'll uh, get exactly which cars they want uh, out of the mainline Mattel, Hot Wheels, uh, and that one Matchbox, and the two Motor Max castings. So like, share, subscribe, comment down below. That's always the most important thing. Uh, stay warm, stay safe, and uh, I'll talk to you on Saturday.